SmackDown is in Atlanta, Georgia tonight, and this is the go-home show to Crown Jewel, which will take place in Crown Jewel, and it is a global event. Where this show is taking place is still a mystery. So the big news is John Cena was confirmed yesterday on Monday to be off Crown Jewel, and now today on Tuesday, Daniel Bryan has now been confirmed to be off the show. So both John Cena and Daniel Bryan... Um, both refusing to go to Saudi Arabia. So John Cena, I don't think you can do anything to him because he just does not need WWE. Daniel Bryan, on the other hand, um, I think they won't bury him because they know if they do, they'll get completely blasted online for it. So I don't know if anything will happen to him. But it could hurt his push, but you have to give the guy credit. Whatever you agree with him or you're not a fan of him, you have to give you know the guy some props. He said, you know what, I'm not going. Uh it took some courage to do that. He's in a, he is still a very popular, so he is not like a, he's, he still is a top guy, even though they don't treat him like one. It, in his position, he can make that move. So, uh, I'm sure there will be many, uh, many re- other wrestlers really appreciate what, with, uh, what he did. And, uh, he did something I'm sure a lot of guys really wish they could do. And the show opens up with AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan having a match. So AJ Styles comes out, gets a huge pop. It's his hometown of Atlanta. Uh, he's loved there. Um, he, uh, he's talking about last week. Then Daniel Bryan comes out and eventually Shane comes out and they officially make the match for tonight. AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship in the opening match on, uh, SmackDown. So on this, um, on this show, we're start, actually starting off with AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. So completely confirms that the, the match is off for Saudi Arabia. And the match they had here was very good. Um, you'd expect a classic. So, I mean, the AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, it's kind of a dream match in WWE. And they've had two matches. The first one was actually the couple nights after WrestleMania. And Nakamura ruined that match. And now tonight is uh, basically a match that they were supposed to have. But Daniel Bryan, again, refusing to go to Saudi Arabia. And now you have it on SmackDown. Um, AJ Styles gets the victory and AJ Styles makes Daniel Bryan tap out. Baby faces never tap out. He gets him to tap out with the calf crusher. So I'm sure Daniel Bryan fans are going to flip out. Uh oh, no, baby faces never tap out. WWE is punishing Daniel Bryan for not going. Um, it, it could, but I don't think they will bury him because I think they know if we bury him, it'll be just, it'll be too obvious. So I think that they won't do it. But again, I think it could actually help him. Um, again, Daniel Bryan is making a decision. Um, John Cena is also making a bold decision. It, it, you got to give him some credit. Um, so after the match, Samoa Joe comes out, and I was pissed off. I'm saying, so fuck, I don't want to see this damn Joe rivalry with AJ anymore. Later in the show, it's Joe and AJ at um, Crown Jewel. So uh, they they show uh, Jeff Hardy. Uh, he's cutting a promo. I didn't really care for it. Uh, and the Miz, I, I, the Miz bores me. So up next, they have pumpkins, uh, skeletons, uh, all these like jack o' lanterns, tables. They have like this giant uh, bowl for bobbing for apples. All great Halloween decorations. All the Halloween treats. I love Halloween. Halloween's my favorite holiday. They have. A jack. Everyone hates the trick or street fight. I don't care. I like the trick or street fight. I like the damn jack lanterns smashed on people's faces. I like the damn skeletons, those fake skeletons, those damn bobbing for apples, um, all that shit. I like the the costumes. I don't care. I love Halloween. I'll, I I like the trick or street fight. So um, before we go to that, we show Paige in the office and uh, Charlotte Flair enters. And I have to say, I just Charlotte looked great here. Just she looked beautiful here i'll give her that or, oh my god those things are just gigantic anyway uh Paige is um she has a question for charlotte and she asks if she wants to be the one te- the one captain for the woman's team at survivor series charlotte says she does not think she's the right person for the job and um Paige is telling her no, don't let that get to your head so they're doing something with charlotte they're doing a sympathy angle it's like oh she lost her confidence that's where they're going with charlotte um they're probably going to turn her baby face to, i think they're just going to keep her away from becky for a while uh but that's clearly where they're going they're clearly going to try and build sympathy for charlotte uh they're going in that direction with her character they're going to let's still take a turn around i think they're going to try to do it's like the superhero who lost their power, and they're doing to do a comeback story probably. So it looks like they're they're, they're doing something different with uh, Charlotte. Uh, so the new day, this is the this is definitely the highlight. They come out 
the New Day music plays, and then, uh uh-oh, the Brood's music plays, and then they all dress up as the Brood. Biggie is Gangrel, uh, Xavier Wood is Edge, he even has a cape, and Kofi is Kinks, and they all have the long blonde hair from the 90s. They're all the Brood. It was just awesome. I love it. They, they, they even spit out the fake blood. Uh, I just I thought that was one of the coolest things. I, I love the the entrance. Then the bar come out uh, and they're joined by the Big Show, and uh, so it, it becomes a uh, Biggie against Cesaro. Um, it's a comedy match. I mean, they use kendo stick first. Um, we just—it's a little bit weird. I just saw so many damn weapons in that Becky Charlotte match, Evolution, two nights ago. But then they—they—they they, uh, they use the Bob for apples, like they put them into the vat. That was actually kind of funny. Uh, and then at the end, like they use all the Halloween decorations. They use um, the jet. They set up, you know, how in, in street fights they set up a whole bunch of chairs and they do a move on the chairs. Here they set up like twenty jack lanterns, and there was multiple bumps. Both Biggie and Cesaro took multiple bumps into the jack lanterns. That was funny. Um, I actually liked that. Then they did the red mist thing with the fake blood. They spit all the blood into their faces, and Biggie eventually hits the big ending, and uh, he pins Cesaro. There was also a table spot, so Biggie gets the victory. Um, and uh new day gets the one and they celebrate as like the brood at the end with the, which was cool they celebrate with some of the with the jack lanterns and the skeletons so that's your halloween theme of the night um they show shane mcmahon in his office and uh it's it's a miz or um randy orton Rey mysterio and uh the jeff hardy and what they basically do is they uh mcmahon announces uh, if you just lose, you know, I don't want to lose bragging rights to my sister, so you're going to be fired. So, so whoever loses this finals for SmackDown, if they do lose to Raw, they're fired. I don't think they will lose. I think Randy Orton will win. Um, but maybe, who knows? Nakamura comes out, and it's going to be... Um, and uh, before he comes to the break, it sucks. You know, whenever someone comes out, like, they make them stand there for, like, uh, 40, like, it seems like, what, 20 minutes? And they sometimes come back from commercial with the backstage. I mean, they show Paige backstage, and uh, they show him and uh, her, her with AJ Styles, and AJ demands Joe, and Paige eventually makes a match with Samoa Joe at Crown Jewel. Oh, I, that's like a piss break. I don't want to watch that ever again. So it's Nakamura and R-Truth. R-Truth and Carmella get a huge pop, actually. A lot of people were dancing. That act is getting really over. I'm actually really starting to like uh, Truth and Carmella. Uh, Nakamura gets the win. They did the dance break in the match. Nakamura beats R-Truth, so Ty Dillinger was injured. He couldn't uh, be here. Becky Lynch comes out. She gets a big pop. She talks. Of, she cuts a very good promo. She talks about how she's the last woman standing. And uh, she, she's doing really well. I hate the thing with I'm the man. That's her new thing is I'm the man. I'm the man. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. Um, Becky is not. I mean, she's fucking sexy. She does not need to do that stupid catchphrase. But Becky is insanely over that match with Charlotte. Made them both bigger stars, especially Becky. Becky has so much momentum. We'll see how they uh, they capitalize on her unless they just don't want to push her and they just decide, you know what, we're going to do our best to kill her heat, which I'm sure they will do their very best to do. Uh, but she cut the promo on Ronda, and uh, she's coming to rip Ronda's arm off at Survivor Series. That's interesting because I think the fans are going to turn on Ronda at Survivor Series, and they may start to brew her back. Cause they, I think they made a mistake. Um, so Joe, uh, I don't want to cut. See this video. I'm done. Okay, I'm not even going to talk about those promos. It bores me to death. I hate this Joe AJ feud now. So main event, a tag match, Miss Orton against Mysterio and Hardy. Uh, goes for a lot while. Um, um, uh, Ray hits a 6-0-9 to the Miss, and Jeff hits a Swanton bomb. Uh, and they win, and after the match, Orton uh, gives Jeff an, uh, an RKO. Then uh, Ray comes off the ropes, but Orton uh, hits an RKO to Ray, and he hits an RKO to the Miss. So that makes you think, is Randy Orton probably not going to win? Uh, maybe not. Uh, but who cares? The World Cup sucks. So uh, that was SmackDown. It was a good show. A pretty, you know, noteworthy having the the opening match with the title. Um, a lot of stuff happened actually. Uh, so I'm gonna do my prediction for Crown Jewel. That'll, that'll be up soon. I just wanted to say, you know, WWE has had a very good week. Um, up until Friday, I mean, like, uh, actually last. 
they've had they had a great week and i loved evolution i mean i really that was a really good show it was, it was a fun show and it was something that you know what i think when you look back people are gonna really think that that show was it's it's so positive it was a really fun show you had all those women coming back and the whole thing you know like it wasn't necessary to be you know patting themselves on the back which it was that's the reason they did it but at the same time it wasn't overbearing and there was something about it like it was really this really positive vibe you really felt happy for these women even though i personally can't stand stephanie and her you know bragging and giving her something to talk about but like she was barely on the show it was more about the woman and you know the crowd was so into it i just i loved evolution i I was really happy uh, with what they did there. And I, I might watch that show again. I never watch pay-per-views anymore. Like, unless the only time I'll go back and watch a show is if it's uh, from many years ago and it was a classic show. I'll never go back and watch a recent pay-per-view. I'll never go back and watch a WrestleMania. I'm going to probably watch that show again. Because that I really, oh, I really liked Evolution. I, was, I really enjoyed that show. I was really happy for virtually all the women i even watched the red carpet stuff and i'm not this guy who's this pro champion for women and oh woman rights men are evil and that's not me i'm more of someone like i just enjoy wrestling i hate stephanie bragging about the woman but watching that show i loved it i loved watching it. and i was really happy for the for the ladies there and seeing them have all that you know that really genuinely meant so much to all of them and i, I was really happy watching that and the matches were really good the crowd was awesome it was really fun it was a fun show like it wasn't too long which was good it was such a fun show to watch i like every single positive thing about evolution you can like do a complete 180 about this crown jewel show um this is just gonna be a horrible horrible pr for wwe um i'm at the point where like i'm gonna watch the show probably but it's it sucks i'm like it's real i have a very negative uh f- feel for that show and uh, it is what it is but it's like it's just this a crazy week it's just this roller coaster it's, on sunday everything is like i my your thoughts about the company change after a show like that it was such a positive show it was such a good show and now it's like everything is like good for sunday was the light friday is the darkness um it's too bad the show isn't on halloween because this is probably going to be one of the darker days in the history of the company just this show on friday uh yeah it's just it's a complete 180 anyway i also wanted to say halloween um wwe they uh they recently had the hardy boys do a halloween special i will be reviewing that tomorrow for halloween and also i just like to say i love halloween halloween's my favorite holiday really happy we got a new halloween movie hopefully we get more halloween movies maybe we get more others franchises uh being revived maybe more friday the 13th nightmare on elm streets i'm all for that and certainly more halloween's and uh, tomorrow is Halloween. However you celebrate, have a safe and happy Halloween. If you see the shape, run for your life. So happy Halloween.